What's up everybody, it's David. I hope that y'all been well, and uh, I hope that y'all been praying for me. I prayed for y'all, and uh, it's been a time of testing, let me tell you. Um, fall, October, November especially, were uh, especially tough spiritually and uh, mentally, psychologically. Um, when you fight the enemy on a uh, certain level, it can, um, build up pressure over time and i just want to thank everybody that's prayed for me and uh god is good and hey i'm feeling better and uh i'm just going to go ahead and say a prayer for everybody and if y'all would join me in prayer let's take it to the lord right now lord jesus i just thank you god for all that you've done in the months of the fall I thank you, Lord God, for lessons, life lessons, God, that teach us how to interact better with other people and our families and how to strive harder, Lord God, in obedience to you and uh, just staying close to you, God. I pray, Lord, that you would lead us, God, at this time, Lord, as we are now in the winter, Lord, as we just entered the winter solstice on December 21st, Lord, 2020, Lord, we know that big spiritual things are ahead. We know, God, that the time is near, God, where you're calling your saints into the ark right now, God. It says the days of Noah, you're calling your saints into the ark, God, and, and we better be ready. We better prepare and come into the ark because once the door is shut, like the Bible says, once the door is shut, nobody else can come in. You've invited everybody, God. You've invited the least to join the wedding feast, God. And, and we humbly accept, Lord, and we thank you that you would invite us, Lord, to become a part of your kingdom, Lord, and to know you deeper and to help others, Lord, come with us. God, I pray that you give us strength and power through your Holy Spirit to be a good witness in these last days. I pray, Lord God, that we would put down our selfish desires and start being more willing to put ourselves out there even when we don't want to, even when we're doing things that are for us, God, or we're relaxing and say that we're, we're not having to work and we have some free time. Help us not to be selfish with our time, God. Help us to just be more willing to humbly allow you to guide us, Lord. Let us at least just read the word, God. At least read the word and also do other things in ministry that you lead us to do, God. But let us just be led by the Holy Spirit, God. Lord, we're in a day and age, we're in a day and age where systematically over generations, the hearts of the fathers and the sons have become estranged. Systematically over the years, for hundreds of years, even thousands of years, Satan has put a wedge between the family, between mothers and daughters, fathers and sons, husbands and wives. He's splitting households. And right now we're at a time where it is worse than it's ever been, where the enemy would love the people that know the least, which are the young people, to be the ones making decisions without any guided effort from those that have wisdom. So Lord God, I just pray Pray that you send us help, Lord. The enemy has been allowed to separate us and divide us as families for so many years, God. Generation after generation, God. It's gotten worse from the 50s to the 60s, God, to the 70s and the 80s to the 90s. By the end of the 90s, it was pretty bad, God. But then you have the ones and the teens and now the 20s, God, and it is horrible. I, I feel bad for these young people, Lord. God, if it's not for the power of your spirit during these end times. I don't see how these young people can ever know you, Lord. These, these ages, this age is so bad and they need you so much, God. And, and they've never known anything except artificial intelligence and um, just the computer and everything to do with a false reality. They don't know the real reality. So God, I pray God that you send help from the sanctuary, from on high, God that you would send the spirit of Elijah that would send the hearts of the fathers back to the sons and the hearts of the sons back to the fathers. 
Lord God, turn the hearts of the mothers back to the daughters and the daughters back to the mother's God and the husbands back to the wife's God. Let them be unified, come together and be one as a family God, united by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the enemy have no more power and control the way he has for hundreds of years in the family, God. I pray that it would end. The Bible says, your word says, God, that when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will rise up the standard against them. So, Lord, I pray that you rise up that standard and that that standard would be the fruit of your spirit, God. That it be love, peace, long-suffering, Lord, that there be joy. God, let there be peace, let there be joy and love in the households across the world right now, God. Now, I just pray that anyone that prays this prayer with me or that agrees in prayer, God, I just pray that they be blessed. I pray that you bless their families. I pray that you bless their husbands and their wives, their father and their mother, their sons and their daughters, and all the rest of their family members, God. I just pray that you would turn the hearts of the family back to the family and that the family that didn't even know how to be a family would become a family, Lord God, because of the power of your Holy Spirit. Nothing else can do it. Lord, send the spirit of Elijah. You said in the last days you would send the spirit of Elijah, God, that would, that would bring the hearts of the fathers back to the sons and the sons back to the fathers and so on and so forth. So Lord, by the power of your spirit, and the confession of your word, I pray that it be done and that we would have the strength and peace and love and power to fight in these very last days. Let us do it by the fruit of your spirit, God, and thank you for all your blessings. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, y'all, I hope to uh, get back on here soon. And um, I know it's been a long time. Uh, I'm, I miss being able to spend time doing this. And uh, I just had to make sure that uh, my life was lined up and that I was back in God's will and that I was focused and strong in the Lord again uh, before I got back on here. So uh, I don't want to disrespect the calling that God has given me. And um, I want to, you know, be a good example to y'all. So please pray for me, continue to pray for me and I'll pray for y'all and uh, leave any comments below. And uh, I'd love to talk to y'all about whatever you want to talk about. God bless.